Hi friends, uh, my name is Shaidhan Patkan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to analyze the 12th game uh, of the Tata IPL 2024 uh, which took place at the Narendra Modi Stadium between the host Gujarat Titans and Sunrisers Hyderabad and it was a game which was won comprehensively in the end by Gujarat Titans by a margin of 7 wickets and 5 balls left. So that's a pretty decent margin for a victory. Uh, the toss uh, was won by Gujarat Titans and they decided, uh, no surprises in that, to bowl first. Uh, that is the criteria in the T20 cricket this day. Uh, teams prefer chasing after winning the toss especially in India where the pitches are pretty flat and due factor also comes into consideration later on in the day uh, yeah Sunrisers could just manage I think 162 for 8 in their allotted 20 overs uh, which was a bureau par total to start off with uh, Mayank Agarwal once again uh, not proving his uh, what you can say work to Sunrisers Hyderabad and I said in my previous videos as well that it is high time that Sunrisers Hyderabad actually look beyond Mayank Agarwal 16 of 17 deliveries, pretty tepid innings, just a couple of boundaries. His wicket was taken by Omar Zai with Darshan Nalkande taking a simple catch. Uh, Travis Head tried to provide some impetus, very unfortunate that he got out at the early stage. 19 of 14 deliveries with 3 boundaries, he actually looked very good. Inspiring move by Captain Shubman Gill to bring on Noor Ahmed uh, at the start of the power play which paid off, he was cleaned up. Uh, Travis said by Noor Ahmed. Abhishek Sharma also uh, hit couple of lusty blows. 29 of 20 deliveries, 2 sixes, 2 fours. His taken, wicket was taken by Mohit Sharma uh, with Shubman Gill taking a fine catch. Uh, Aidan Markram also pretty disappointing inning. 17 of 19 deliveries. Uh, his wicket was taken by Umesh Yadav with Rashid Khan taking a simple catch in the deep. Heinrich Lassen 24 of 13, a quick fire cameo but the Sunrisers team management and fans would have expected more of him. Uh, uh, he scored uh, with a couple of sixes and a solitary boundary. Uh, uh, he was cleaned up by Rashid Khan eventually, which was a ripper of a delivery. Uh, Shaba Zahmat, uh, 22 of 20 deliveries, a boundary and a six. Uh, once again, Mohit Sharma striking with Tevatiya taking a simple catch. Uh, Abdul Samad provided some much needed fireworks for Sunrisers Hyderabad. And if not for Abdul Samad's innings, actually, Sunrisers wouldn't even have crossed the 150 run uh, barrier. Uh, 29 of 14 deliveries, 3 boundaries, uh, crisp shots uh, and a solitary 6. Uh, his wicket was eventually taken by, he was run out uh, in the last over uh, by Noor Ahmed and Washington Sundar gone for a golden duck. Mohit Sharma uh, just slower delivery into the pitch using his brains with Rashid Khan taking another catch and Pat Cummins was not out on 2 of 2 deliveries. Just a 4 extras were considered by the Gujarat Titans uh, bowlers. A pretty disciplined effort and I think uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad were 20 runs short on this pitch uh, of what would they have liked. Uh, Gujarat Titans uh, began very nicely actually. Uh, 25 of 13 by Vridhiman Saha. A quick cameo by the 39 year old wicket keeper batsman couple of youth sixes over mid wicket as well as a single boundary his wicket was taken by Shama Zahmat with skipper Pat Cummins taking a simple catch Shubban Gill 36 of 28 deliveries a pretty substandard innings uh, by his uh, high standards his wicket was taken by Markram with Abdul Samad taking a catch he completely mistimed the shot and he must be pretty disappointed with the nature of his dismissal uh, Sai Sudarshan uh, scored 45 of uh, 36 deliveries once again he is proving why that he was given India cap and why he is rated so highly. Uh, four boundaries, one success. Uh, he was dismissed by Pat Cummins with Abhishek Sharma taking a single catch and uh, Vijay Shankar uh, as well as David Miller especially who scored 44 of 27 deliveries. Two massive sixes along with four boundaries uh, at a strike rate of uh, in excess of 160. He was not out and Vijay Shankar hit 14 of 11 deliveries with couple of boundaries to take um, Gujarat Titans home in a pretty simple chase. Uh, 4 overs, 27 runs uh, and no wicket uh, was uh, was taken by Bhuvneshwar Kumar. A pretty excellent effort by the former India bowler. He must have, uh, he should have fancied a couple of wickets in the power play which would have uh, made the task of Sunrisers Hyderabad a lot easier but very respectable figures nonetheless. Shaba Zahmat uh, went for 20 in 2 overs but he actually took the wicket of Riddhiman Saha who was absolutely on fire. Jaydev Unadkat in 3.1 overs went uh, all over the place. 
his lower balls were picked up by the gujarat titans uh, batsman and he must add another dimension to his name to succeed in the t20 format it's been an awful long time that jaydev bunadkat has been given opportunity after opportunity by different franchises but he hasn't been able to cement his place in the um uh, playing 11 of whatever franchise that he plays washington sundar also bowled pretty nicely 3.3 overs 27 runs although he also would have fancied a wicket like bhuvneshwar kumar but that was the ploy and tactic by the gujarat titans batsman that they knew that their total was within range uh, so they didn't take any unnecessary risk Markram went for 11 runs per over 3 overs 33 run wicket and Pat Cummins uh, good showing by the skipper but it wasn't enough to take Sunrisers Hyderabad home 4 overs 28 runs one wicket for his magnificent bowling of 3 um, um, wickets by giving away just 25 runs in 4 overs Mohit Sharma was rightfully adjust the man of the match and I have been saying for a long long time that Mohit Sharma uh, deserves another India comeback in the wide ball format especially T20 format he has time and again proven what a critical asset he is towards the latter stages of the inning and I don't know why selectors continuously overlook him it's high time that Mohit Sharma should get an opportunity to once again play for India so how did you like my analysis of this 12th game please tell me in the comment section below and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for further notifications we'll meet in the next video till then everyone bye